Good morning and a warm welcome for 68th AICOG TV interview. I am pleased to have with me Dr. Vidya Bhatt from Bangalore. Madam is a director at Radha Krishna Hospital and IVF Center in Bangalore. Thank you very much ma'am for accepting our invitation to be here. And Madam's topic in AICOG is on hysteroscopy and laparoscopy in gynecological surgeries. So as we understand ma'am, these patients who are undergoing laparoscopy and hysteroscopy, a good pre-op is really very very important. So how do you treat these patients pre-operatively or how do you uh, prepare them for these surgeries? Uh, uh, see, whenever we get a patient with um, uh, any problems like um, especially when there is a myoma, we decide where that myoma is and then we map the myoma that is we do an ultrasound or an MRI and see where exactly it is and we number it also so that we are mentally prepared that we are going to remove four or five myomas and the most important thing when there are the number of myomas increase is the blood loss so our preoperative hemoglobin is very important now if the hemoglobin is less than 10 we do not take these patients for surgery so whenever we get a case uh, of anemia we first work up the case now these are the patients who come from far and they want to get the surgery and you know that lap surgeries are just two days admission or they come in the morning and go in the evening yes. so for them a pre-op workup of almost one month putting them an oral iron does not work so we give IV iron and uh, I normally give FCM for these patients and within three four days the hemoglobin rise is seen marked hemoglobin at least one to two grams hemoglobin rise is seen so what we do is we tell them one week when they come immediate for the surgery we tell them one week you need uh, work up if the hemoglobin is something like nine or eight so we give them two doses that is first dose we give then three days later we call them and then give the second dose and uh, that's how we work up the case and by the time they are fit for surgery the day of surgery the hemoglobin is around uh, 10 or 11 but if they are uh, even more or less that is seven like that maybe they will require about two to three weeks of workup and then we post them because most of the time when the myoma is there there is bleeding right. they are continuously bleeding especially if it is a sim symptomatic myoma so we do it in a, a systematic way right so if we have to summarize the number of myomas the location of the myoma is very very important yes. to uh, map it and a hemoglobin of bare minimum of 10 is must for all these patients who are undergoing this kind of surgeries and in that case I think uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, our uh, trust and confidence on parenteral ion therapy yes. could be one of the parenteral ion that is very carboxymaltose which has come up recently and has been a single shot uh, uh, given in high dosages would be appropriate for such cases. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, in these cases, uh, we are expecting uh, some amount of hemorrhage on table. So, how do we tackle that hemorrhage in such myomectomy cases? See, whenever we have uh, um, a case of uh, fibroids or it could be a case for um, uh, dysfunctional uterine bleeding or adenomyosis for hysterectomy and myomectomy, we cannot predict the blood loss. Sometimes it could be totally bloodless. But sometimes on table we can have bleed even though their preoperative hemoglobin is 11 or 12 when we take them for laparoscopy the hemoglobin assessment or the blood loss assessment uh, the how much they have lost may not be very accurate so that time post-op hemoglobin is done for them especially when we suspect a major blood loss like we look at the suction apparatus and there we see the collection what we have sucked out from the abdominal cavity is more than 500 ml then we do a pre-operative uh, post-operative hemoglobin on uh, the second post-operative day not the first post-operative day day the second post-operative day and these patients we don't immediately discharge them we keep them in the hospital for another extra day because we know that there has been blood loss and we want a good healing to occur no sepsis 
because we have taken so much of trouble to do a lab surgery or a hysteroscopic surgery and they go home with the hemoglobin less if they have sepsis or if the hemorrhage continues especially after a hysteroscopic surgery even we have removed a myoma they are, st the, they are still bleeding and then we, we can't manage them when once we send them home because they can come back with problems or complications. So in such cases we give them post operative therapy, iron therapy that is immediate post operative uh, once we check the hemoglobin and it has fallen down to 9 we give them a single dose and then top it up with oral uh, iron therapy and send them home. Suppose it is 8 like that then we give 2 doses that is 1 dose on the day where we are planning to the previous day where we are planning to discharge them. Then after a week we call them back and then check if it has improved and then repeat a dose on outpatient basis and uh, then uh, the one month later once they come for routinely we call them for a follow up after one month. So one month later when we call them for a follow up we repeat the hemoglobin and everything is normal and whether it is a hysterectomy or a myomectomy the patient goes home well. So this has really worked uh, for us in our hospital because uh, we really take care of anemia uh, preoperatively and postoperatively and it's a very important aspect I feel that our, for our postoperative patients to do well. Even when we do a hysteroscopy, especially a hysteroscopic myomectomy can bleed. Uh, I use the hysteroscopic morselators which is uh, without energy source, it is a mechanical morselator. So that time also we can have bleed uh, though we take all precautions, in such patients also parental iron therapy has really worked wonders in our hospital. Right. So we can say ma'am that uh, whether it is a laparoscopic hysterectomy or laparoscopic myomectomy or any kind of investigative laparoscopy, uh, the timely management of the blood loss is really critical. The parental iron do have a very important role to play to avoid post-operative complications in such cases. And I think um, uh, that's uh, very well being managed by parenteral iron or uh, whether in case of blood transfusion sometimes if, if it is needed. If it is acute blood loss like a major bleeder is spurting and uh, as it is her hemoglobin is less and then uh, we have no choice. In such cases we do have were given blood transfusion but in spite of the blood transfusion we give them parental therapy because the number of transfusions can be reduced yes. with the parental iron therapy. Definitely. That is that is also a very important thing because you can't keep on giving blood Absolutely. to the patient. When there is acute blood loss you give, then top it up with your uh, parental iron therapy and then of course for maintenance you can give oral iron therapy Absolutely. for another month. So, so very well that said that uh, uh, the parental iron overcomes the disadvantages yes. of yes. Blood, transfusion. blood transfusion and uh, when we are saying shorter the better. Even yeah. in laparoscopic surgeries, the shorter hospital stay yes. as compared to the abdominal surgeries. The parenteral iron gives us a room that in a shorter, uh, just one shot yeah. very carboxymaltose injection, one or two shots of very carboxymaltose injection decreases the number of visits of the patients Patient. to the clinic. Yeah. They can have a post-operative recovery very fast. Yeah. So I think these are the, all the elements one should look into it that the hemoglobin has to be bare minimum 10 preoperatively and on table blood loss management and the post operative good parenteral iron is the key for our such kind of patients who are being put up for hysteroscopy or laparoscopy. I would like to add one thing, see when we do laparoscopy it is uh, innovation from techniques to technology. I think in the technology parenteral iron, parenteral iron has taken a major role for us to go to our previous techniques of giving blood to technology right. so it is technology thank you very much ma'am thanks a lot for those wonderful insight on this topic and we wish you all the best for your next three days course of conference thank you very much thank you so much and thanks for the opportunity